Good morning, my dear students. So we have to, to continue our discussions with the competencies of the leader, of uh, being a leader or competencies of leadership. So I forgot to discuss the uh, number, 11, uh, number 11 competencies, managing diversity. So in managing diversity, the, uh, creating, maintaining environment naturally enables all participants to contribute to their potential in pursuit of organizational objectives. So, being a staff pharmacist or being a colleague, you should able to contribute more uh, uh, knowledge, inputs, in order to, uh, con to maintain the organizational or to achieve the organizational objectives of the institutions or the drug establishment where uh, kung saan ka dyan nagtatrabaho okay? kailangan there is participations of all personnel kahit PA siya, kahit uh, pharmacy technician so pwede siya mag contribute okay, to the uh, organizations so number 15 we have professional or industry knowledge so having satisfactory level of technical and professional skills knowledge in positions related areas keeping up with current developments and trends in areas of expertise so in pharmacy this is very essential no? uh, pharmacies have higher technical skills especially in uh, dispensing process or in drugstores uh, patient counseling that is considered to be a patient skills knowledge we are very knowledgeable on in terms of medications no? medication side effects adverse effects okay? drug interactions so this one is very important important when we practice in different areas of expertise For example if you want to practice in clinical pharmacy so you have a thorough knowledge of pharmacology clinical pharmacy subjects during your uh, um, during your school days in pharmacy okay? uh, skills related to effective motivations include so we'll discuss the skills uh, related to effective uh, motivations include allowing employee autonomy okay we discussed it last time so mayroong tawag na autonomy for each employee uh, give more input to the company okay uh, convincing mentoring or being a leader or being a manager you have to convince employees you have to mentor or teach them and also openness persuasive providing rewards when they uh, able to uh, achieve uh, or example nalabot nila yung kota nila okay uh, they have a higher sales for the for this month so you can give rewards incentives setting effective goals team building thinking stuff also so the end of the day you have to thank everything for your staff because the success of the business is not only the success of the leader but also the success of all personnel involved in one business especially in drugstore especially in other drug establishment okay next understand employee differences this is very important you have to understand differences okay? different cultures different persons you have to understand understanding and respecting each other will have harmonious relationship in a company next delegating this one leaders who try to uh, give many tasks to the employees okay will struggle get anything done yes okay man siya to delegate more but tingnan mo kung kaya ng mga empleyado mo yung binibigay mo mga trabaho sa kanila these leaders often fear delegating tasks is a sign of weakness when in fact it is a sign of strong leader so pwede mo you have to give challenging work this sign of a strong leader okay you give a lot of work to one person that has a capab uh, that has uh, capabilities or that is capable of working in that 
uh, challenging task. You need to identify skills of your employees. Assign duties to each employee based on his or his skill set. So, mayroon ka na empleyado na mas sagad sa IT. So, you have to assign him in encoding. Example, you are working in, you are the owner of the pharmaceutical distribution process. So, try to see kung saan yung mga specialty na mga empleyado. Kung IT siya, encoding. Kung magaling siya sa uh, arranging of stocks, uh, preparing of orders, so ilagay mo siya doon sa sunod ng warehouse. So, delegating is based on the skills of every employee in your company.